This is Akashwani Shillong. The Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. The Centre has enacted a stringent law that aims to curb malpractices and irregularities in competitive examinations. The law entails provisions for a maximum jail term of 10 years and a fine of up to 1 crore rupees for offenders. In a notification published in the official gazette, the Ministry of Personnel said that provisions of the law have come into force yesterday. The Public Examinations Prevention of Unfair Means Bill 2024 was passed by the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha on February 6th and 9th, respectively. President Draupadi Murmu gave approval to the bill on February 12th, turning it into a law. The Act aims to prevent unfair means in public examinations conducted by the Union Public Service Commission, Staff Selection Commission, National Testing Agency, Railway Recruitment Board and Banking Recruitment Examination Bodies, among others. The University Grants Commission, UGC, has welcomed the decision of the Education Ministry to constitute a high-level committee of experts to ensure the transparent, smooth and fair conduct of examinations by the National Testing Agency. In a special in a social media post, UGC Chairman Mamidala Jagdesh Kumar mentioned that the committee's focus on recommending reforms in the examination process, enhancing data security protocols and improving the infrastructure and functioning of the NTA will strengthen the country's national entrance examination system. The Governor of Sikkim, Lakshman Prasad Acharya, visited BOP Lungthung on or rather off the 69th Battalion SSB in Pakyong district situated at 13,500 feet. He expressed pride in the SSB personnel likening the visit to a pilgrimage. The governor praised the sacrifices of the Jawans, their role in maintaining national peace and safety and the contributions of women in the SSB. He also acknowledged the challenges faced by the personnel in remote areas and their efforts in providing basic facilities and promoting equality. During his visit, he also prayed at the temples of Baba Harbhajan Singh Ji and interacted with officers and jawans, commending their dedication. In Assam, the famous Ambubachi Mela began yesterday at the Kamakya Temple. This will conclude on the 26th of this month. Lakhs of devotees have gathered for the Ambubachi Mela. The event celebrates Goddess Kamakya, symbolizing fertility and womanhood. During the festival, the gates of Kamakya Temple will remain closed. The temple gates will reopen at 9.08 p.m. on the 25th of this month. The Kamrup Metro District Administration has made elaborate arrangements for the devotees. The Chairman of National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, Priyank Kanungo, said that the state government should ensure that disabled children get their certificates and all their entitlements. Speaking to the media after the Interdepartmental Review Meeting on Child Rights at the Main Secretariat in Shillong yesterday, Priyank Kanungo informed that there are 364 children with HIV in Meghalaya and if they are eligible, they should also be compensated. Priyank Kanungo also said that the Commission is also deeply concerned over enrollment of children in madrasas and urged the state government that efforts should be made that they are enrolled in normal schools. He also informed that the Commission will organize workshops and awareness programs, including enhancement of poster campaign and restoration of children from child labor. He also informed that child labor has decreased due to the ban on mining activities by NGT. The NCPCR is committed to the welfare and protection of child's rights, holding review meetings with state authorities every three years. And in Meghalaya, Nongpo MLA Maribond's aim has expressed concern over the increasing fatal road accidents taking place on the Umiam Jurabat Expressway. Lately, several fatal road accidents have taken place on the highway, which has led to the loss of several precious lives. Maribond's aim, while sharing his concern on the matter, said that the government through the transport department and police must create awareness among the people about driving ethics and road safety. And with that, we end the... Northeast News Bulletin from Akashwani, Shillong. Have a nice day.